Here we have a Kelmu meter, the Kelmu 3. Um, this particular meter was probably one of the first electronic time of use meters in use by utilities. Hang on, I'll line it up a bit better. I've got a sodium lamp as test load on this particular device. This is an uh, yeah, there's a bit of multiplexing on the display, so um, I'll zoom into the display a little bit more. So that's a reading at the moment. Um, I haven't worked out what the multiplier is, 920044U. But these meters, uh, yeah, the power, right amount of power board used them in the late 80s, early 90s. Active, reactive, um, time, date, they've got a whole lot of information in here multi weight uh, registers on these but yeah these meters were used and I remember reading these uh, this DOS we had to read them as DOS uh, program software C C3 Gen I think it was something like that uh, it's alphanumeral information in there so you've got multi weight registers on these devices I think it's got about 8 tariffs in here so yeah as a uh, curiosity it's quite an interesting meter Right there it says the uh, time to, uh, 809 is refer register number and tariff charts and then you've got the Kelmu 3 logo. I've got the device connected up to a sodium lamp, uh, 100 watt sodium at the moment, it's a CT meter so it's not being stressed out so that's alright. So there you go, I'm sure there's no other video of this particular meter on YouTube. That's what I might as well post it. Um, go back in the registers again. Display tests. Uh, that the meter is recording, they've got a little dot here. We'll just wait till the meter uh, resets itself. But where the U is, there's a little dot which flashes. I've got a couple more of these meters, but yeah, a bit of history. Um, is still uh, available here, of course. You've got the meter connected with two elements in series. There you go, there's the pulsing register. On, off, on, off. And that disappears as soon as you push the test button, I think. Okay, that's the Kelmu for now. Um, made in the United Kingdom. Here we go, Kelmu 3. Thanks for watching. And uh, for future pending tests, this is the Schlumberger 28 and the Sangamo is uh, 200.31. And here we've got the Esquire remote register. Oh, it's just almost a step as this one. I think this meter lost a few pulses because it was uh, all dried up.